you know, as a Greek person, I look up to many Greek heroes, you know. You have, let's see, Alexander the Great. You have Achilles. Oh, the Spartans. Oh, man, the Spartans are one of my favorites. This is Sparta! You have the Greek mythology and wow, the Greek gods such as Zeus, one of my personal favorites. You got Poseidon, his brother. Yeah, of course. You have Hades. Talking about Netflix, you know. I there's another there's another person from Greek history, even though it's not really Greek, I guess you could say. But and she goes by the name Cleopatra. And I heard, of course, Netflix because Netflix has to take everything, like Amazon, which is annoying. But you know. Yeah, Netflix decided to make a docu documentary, you know? And uh, let me just quickly search up the definition of documentary, just in case you don't know. So, a documentary film or documentary is a non-fictional... Yeah, so it's true, in other words, it's fact, history. It's a non-fictional motion picture intended to document reality primarily for the purposes of instruction, education, or maintaining a historical record. In other words, it's all true, based on historical facts. You know, and it's based... Generally, you, you would watch documentaries on either... Historical figures or historical events. In both Netflix, Netflix can't fuck up documentaries. So then I was like, okay, well, who's um, who's the director? Did I, did I see that name right? I saw that name right. Jada Pinkett Smith. Don't know if I, see, I feel safe, you know, saying her name, considering, you know, someone named Will. Angel. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? When I saw it was Jada. Pinkett Smith. I almost died because I already had a bad feeling about it when I saw that. So I, I thought to myself, oh, it can't be that bad. It's just Jada Pinkett Smith. It's still a documentary. They can't fuck it up, right? There's, there's no way they can fuck it up, right? No way. Yeah, Cleopatra was Greek and Egypt was really cool. Either Egypt themselves have great mythology, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, so I, you know, I thought to myself, okay, I thought I watched the trailer, right? You got, you got to watch the trailer. So. I search up a trailer, because what else should I do? Sand, perfect. <sighs> oh, that was, that was not necessary. And there is none oh, among Jody them more man. iconic. Wait a minute. Then I, um, I mean, like, eh. obviously the main reason why I wanted to do this video is because, you know, I'm Greek, so I wanted to see what the fuck went wrong with a Cleopatra documentary, right? Because how can you fuck up a documentary, right? I see the first issue. This Cleopatra is not Greek. And the comments have been turned off. Oh boy, in the oh my I just noticed. Oh my god. That like to it's got 3.3 million views, right? 31,000 likes. That's that's horrible firstly from 3.3 million views. You should get a, a lot more. 424,000 dislikes. Let me just calculate that. Because I really want to calculate that. Give me a zen. 424, right? Yeah. 7%, 7.3% likes, which means 90, 92.7% of people dislike this video when it comes to, oh my god, that, no wonder the comments were turned off, I wonder how bad everyone was in the comments, they must have written this some, oh boy, damn, no wonder this is so controversial, but yeah, Cleopatra was not black. Um, Julius Caesar is aware that Cleopatra is one of the best educated women in the Mediterranean. He wants to be king to Cleopatra's queen. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Julius Caesar was so smart and he just wanted to reign supreme from what I remember reading about him. I mean, there's a reason why his character would break out old as a fat f Well, actually, let me make sure before I say that. There's no Rome without Egypt. That's, that's not true. That, that, that's just not true. There is no Rome without Egypt. It's probably the other way around. Uh, there is no Egypt without Rome. Yeah. No, all Greek. There's a lot of statues to back this up. Like, how can you fuck this up? This makes no sense. Oh. Man, I swear the Greeks, the Greeks, not just the Greeks, but the Egyptians have to be pissed. But surely they can't get any more. Because a Ptolemaic ruler, the very first Ptolemy, is a general of Alexander the Great. Wrong, right? The part of the Ptolemaic um, didn't, uh, kingdom and then proceed to make her not Greek or Macedonian. It's possible that she was an Egyptian. Well, she was Egyptian. Oh my god, no! Macedonian Greek, not Egyptian. There's literally sculptures. There are sculptures. Oh my god, and paintings. I imagine her to have curly hair like me and a similar skin color. <laughs> no fucking way. I did not just hear that in a documentary. I imagine her. No, no, let me go back. Let me just hear that again. 
What, what do you call this again? Uh, uh, histo history 101. I imagine her. Boom. That's history. That's facts. You can just imagine her. Who is this dickhead? I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school. Cleopatra was black. I remember my grandmother saying to me, Okay, that's um, that's great. I remember my grandmother telling me that I should always eat biscuits. I still listen to that every day. Biscuits are very nice, but um, they're also unhealthy. So you don't always have to listen to your grandma, is what I'm trying to say. That was probably a very stupid uh, example of it, but Cleopatra was Macedonian Greek, and you don't get to claim her because you feel like it. I don't understand how stupid you can be to just claim a character when you can just make, just choose someone who actually fits who you want. I, it's not that hard. Like, I swear, man, if Alexander the Great is now fucking um, Chinese in their next documentary, I'm done. I'm actually done. This is just more fan fiction at this point, isn't it? It has to be fan fiction. How is this, for, how is this a documentary? That makes no sense. Oh, my God, it's embarrassing. Netflix. I mean, I knew. Oh man, how? Why did I even trust Netflix to actually make something good? That is fucking sh shit, man. But with all shit things comes a lot of controversy, and that is what me at two hundred eight subs plans to do. My name is Tempestio, and I shall be looking at the blowback of Cleopatra's documentary. Pretty sure I can't even call it that anymore. Cleopatra's fanfic edition. That's what I call it. Now, Cleopatra. 2023 documentary Rotten Tomatoes. Come on, you gotta look at the Rotten Tomatoes. Surely, man. How bad can it be? I think the worst I've ever seen is probably... She got like 11% right, from audience, but it, got, it went really well up to critics, but you generally don't trust the critics anymore because they're generally wrong. You just trust your own instinct, man. But you can trust... Generally, you can trust the audience. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, Jesus, 3%? Oh, that stings. I mean, it deserves it, but... How is the most popular TV on right now? And Cleopatra's at the top with a 15% from the critics as well. No bloody way. The critics don't like it either. Oh, we stand united once again. The critics and audience have united partially. You know, how do you get that 3% audience score? That is disgusting. You sure this bond is more fictional work than documented acts, yeah. What about IMDb? How they going? IMDb. Oh my god. A one star out of ten for both episodes. And it's the top rated. I can't believe it. The top rated episode is a one star. What the hell did the other ones get? 0.5? Oh, that's so bad. Hey, hey, we can find the fucker Rita. Where is he? I found you. Come on, where are you, my friend? Islam Isa. I don't care about any of these other people, except where, where was the other one that was talking about Alexander the Great? Document, I can't, how is this a documentary, man? Nah, 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 the problem with cultured appropriation, it's a blatant attempt to rewrite, this is from a featured review. Uh, okay, it's a blatant attempt to rewrite history and push a false narrative portraying Queen, Queen, Ple I can't speak. Queen Cleopatra as a black woman, which is completely inaccurate and disrespectful to the f historical figure. It is unacceptable to change history to fit a particular narrative or gender. The creators of this documentary have engaged in their incultural appropriation by misrepresenting a historical figure and using her own her story for their own purposes. Overall, this documentary is a disappointing and disrespectful representation of the life and legacy of Queen, Queen Cleopatra. It is important to recognize the value and importance of historical accuracy and cultural sensitivity when it comes to documentaries, and a documentary falls sh far short of those standards. Yeah, so in other words, it, it's shit. It's really shit, and they've done really badly. And I can understand. I'm actually pissed myself. How did they fuck up Cleopatra? She's one of those cool um, characters in Fake Grand Order, and she was a really cool Greek. And they've done, you know, they've done movies over the last 100 years on Cleopatra. But yeah, anyway, the last thing I want to look at before I close off, because I really hate this documentary, and I'm not even going to bother watching it, because that's how shit it is, but... Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, maybe I would have given it a shot before the trailer. I have absolutely no chance now. But yeah, I just want to look at the reaction. No way, give me some, let me go, I need to read this. 
Netflix Black Cleopatra controversy as Egyptian broadcaster making new doc in response. And Egypt are pissed. They're making their own documentary. The Egyptian government? No way. The Egyptian government? No, man. This this is going big. Uh, there have also been efforts made to get clean Cleopatra outright banned in Egypt. Egyptian attorney Mohammed al Sadari filed a complaint with the public prosecutor about the show, promoting Afrocentric thinking and erasing the Egyptian identity. That's true. D demanding for access to Netflix in Egypt to be blocked. Egyptian comedian Bassem Youssef also said on Piers Morgan's show that the doc was another example of the film industry appropriating his culture. Yeah, that they should have never done what they've done. It, it's disgusting. And not just that, but also they did it to the Greeks. I'm actually kind of amazed the Greeks haven't said anything yet. But overall, yeah, the Egyptians should be a bit more pissed, I would say. But yeah, fight back, man. So not only have they got a lawsuit now, they, they're they going to make their own documentary to repel this shit. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And I still want to know if the director responded. Surely, because they always respond. They're calling me names. Clean clear pressure slams. Chris. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Clean Cleopatra director speaks out. What bothers you so much about a black Cleopatra? Well, bothers us. It's not true, and it's meant to be a documentary. It, documentaries are meant to be, you know, facts, not fiction. And then under it, it says, it, it is more likely that Cleopatra looked like our actor than Elizabeth Taylor ever did. Firstly, no. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not going to lie, man. This Cleopatra probably looked a lot more like Cleopatra than that. But... Yeah, no offense and all to whoever, whatever the director's name is, I'm not even bothering to find out the balance of it. But um, you're wrong. Elizabeth Taylor definitely looked more like the real Cleopatra than you did. He's like, we've got actual sculptures and shit to prove it, and paintings, you know, making the chance of her being white somewhat unlikely. After 300 years, surely we can safely say Cleopatra was Egyptian. She was no more Greek or Macedonian than Rita Wilson and Jennifer Ast. That's disgusting. No, you can't say that. 300 years, surely. The fact that he added the word surely in, oh my god, you're so dumb. And then I'm thinking he says, doing the research, I realize what a political act it would be to see Cleopatra portrayed by a black actress. You, hey, yeah, director Tina Gaharavi Isak. Why shouldn't Cleopatra be a melanated sister? Um, I don't know, man. Maybe because she was not a melanated sister and that she was white. I don't know, man, that just sounds pretty... F you know, if this was a movie, no, it shouldn't matter much. But, I mean, they obviously still be people pissed, you know, don't... Why lie? Even if it's fiction, why lie if it's about a true character? But, you know, you can use the excuse it's a fiction. But you can't use the excuse it's a fiction when it, it's an actual documentary. You make no sense. Oh, I've got a question at the very end. This is how I'm going to end it off. Do you personally think the reactions to casting a black Cleopatra is warranted or un unwarranted? Completely warranted. Next. But not... Who the fuck? I'm not even bothered. Okay. Peace out, my friends. I hope I get another 10 subs. Please subscribe. I oh! 10 subs for the win. Let's fucking go.